Hello! Welcome to my channel. My name is Azra, and we are here just to do an explore tour of a build of mine that I created last year. Most builds that I upload to the gallery are typically um, community lots because I can build any old home for my sims or download any old home, but I'm very particular about the community lots that everybody has to share. Particularly dear to my heart are the community lots in Oasis Springs and Willow Creek because, of course, they came with base game. And shipping with base game means that they come with just base game items and set up. Mm. They're, they're, not, they're not fantastic. So, of course, the first thing I had to do as a builder was start working on these particular uh, builds. I have come through Willow Creek before and built a library, and if you go far enough back on my gallery, the way my gallery name is Azealia, I will put it in the comments below. If you go far enough back in my gallery, you will find that I have built this before. Not this exactly. This was me trying to, I suppose, do an imitation of um, New Orleans kind of building style. You can make the argument whether I did well with that or not. I yeah. I had fun. That's what I call it. <laughs> so let's do a brief tour of this library. Coming in the main entrance here, obviously, right? We have the uh, the reception area, computer, desk. And if you look around, you can play some chess. You can read books. He's already playing chess, good for them. I know it's a little cluttered over here, but I um <laughs> even though the librarian's not sitting there, I I used to go to a library in my hometown, my small town, where it was always cluttered. The poor librarians were just I don't know if they were <laughs> if they were always work overworked or what, but it was always just a mess at their desk. The bookshelves I have placed here, these kind of homely yellow ones, they are from base game and they are the only bookshelves in the game that you can actually get some skill building out of. I think it's only up to level one. It's really sad, but if you send a sim here to read, uh, say you want to get them a level of cooking without burning the house down, you could send them here and read one of, the, one of the books out of this bookshelf and get a level of skill out of it, which is maybe not a big deal, but I miss the good old days of Sims 3 when you could um, actually get skill building out of your library books <laughs> uh, and not just have to go home and buy them. So if we come around to the back, I've got a table set up. I don't remember if I put that laptop there or if that sim brought it with him. <laughs> Gonna be honest. Uh, there is an exit out here. So you choose to leave, of course, and you'll find the back of the build. Looks very much like the front. I'm gonna be like doing this slow mode motion here again. Um, yeah, but you'll find the back of the build looks very much like the front, just without the flags on it. All right, back in. And again, more chess tables. Um, I'm going to get whatever skill building I can out of this place. <laughs> back on the inside, we have some restrooms. Very vital component for a community lot. Toilet. <laughs> That's helpful. All right. And... I got a little sneaky over here, but somebody's been helpful for me. And, oh, look at that wonderful townie getup. I love the ring. Um, and already opened my secret door to the basement, so let's just head downstairs right away. There we go. In the basement, we are set up to help out children with their skill building. Um, got some violins set up, got some toys set up, got some room for studying. I don't know what this kid's doing. I actually genuinely don't know what he's doing, but that's okay. Little area for toddlers as well. I know you're asking yourself, Azra, why, why, why did you put a toddler bed in the library? And a toddler potty. For those of you brave enough to bring your toddlers along with, Sometimes they get tired faster than adults, so 
I have restrooms in the basement as well. These come with showers because I spend way too long on library lots, especially when I give myself some activities for skill building for, building for my Sims to do. Again, two restrooms, male, female. Um, also included a witchy potioneering room. Potioneering. <laughs> How's that for a label? Uh, cauldron to practice in, uh, some painting easels for doing that, and a little area for pets in case you're one of those that brings your pets along with when you visit the library lots or community lots in general. Of course, if you have a witch, you might well have your pet summoned as your familiar, so I'm not going to tell you how I know that. <laughs> yes, I will. I like to play with witches and wizards. Excuse me, spellcasters. Um, there's also a little library fully functional eating area. Eating area is probably not the best way to word that, but it's that's all it is. It's just a little loungy room. Um, if we had more in the way of vending machines, I would completely slap a bunch of vending machines in there. Not going to lie. All right. Okay, so if we go back around to the front past this wonderful townie, you can see through the upstairs there's a little balcony here. This is right behind the uh, the entrance to the library. And you come up here and you'll find a podium for making speeches or just practicing the skill that you need for making speeches and studying and it's university stuff. Um, also several mirrors for your choice of practicing either charisma or the uh, debate skill. Come around this way, you'll find another restroom. And on the other side, there are just several study nooks. Many computers. There's nothing worse than coming to a community lot for use of a computer and not having it. Speaking of university, this is the the very specific computer from university for um, sharing your skills with others. And of course the Strangerville listening in device. <laughs> Say what you will, I like Strangerville. And uh, just a couple of more areas to study with just a couple of computers in this one. And a couple of more of those bookshelves that you could actually get skill building skills from. And then final floor, a little study area for kids to do their science, but not just kids to do their science. Also, we have a or well, we have a microscope as well, but we also have a telescope on the top floor of this build. And my sim Bobby Builder displaying the microscope. For those who are in need of skill building. <laughs> so, if we go up just a little bit further and I page up all the way here, you'll see the microscope. Microscope, I'm going to keep saying that. The uh, telescope actually has its own room at the top. So, you're going to be seeing a lot of window, but I don't know, I thought it was a fun idea. So, here you go. This is. Willow Creep Library. It is on the gallery if you would like to download it. Again, I will put my name as it is on the gallery, Azalea, on, uh, in the information below so you can find me if you would like. I will also put my Tumblr there so you can see where images of this are posted with pictures um, just so you can take a look around without the video part. Alright, well thank you very much and have a good day.